playing with one of them and against the other? Yeah, for sure. Um, <clears throat> first off with Josh Pacola, uh, actually, first off with St. Francis, um, it's, it's a brotherhood. It reminds me a lot of this program with culture, pride, and poise. Um, you know, with Josh Pacola, you know, he was my teammate, but he's also, we're also related, actually. Um, so it's a good little family competition. Uh, you know, we're always getting at each other. Um, so I'm excited, you know, to see him. And I know, I know he has a big role this year. So, um, you know, I'm excited to go against him. It'll be our first time uh, against each other. And then with Bennett, um, he's actually my roommate as well. Um, one of my best friends, you know, we came into St. Francis together, um, knowing that we'd have a big role. We actually got moved up to varsity together. We were like the first one in St. Francis history. So um, ever since then, you know, we've just always been tight. And even when he's at Illinois, we were always, you know, communicating all the time. And to have him come here and be a part of this program um, and just knowing what type of guy he is and, and what he can offer to this program is, is great. AJ Jacobson, Rivals. Cyrus, I was asking Coach Mastro about your offseason improvement. And he, one of the things he said is that, you know, you deserve to be like a guy that's not just a red zone guy or a goal line guy, but an every down type of back. What have you done to make him say this that's, you know, that's expanded your game thusly? Yeah, just really just working on versatility. Um, I mentioned last time, too, you know, I, I went down to SoCal and worked on a lot of straight line running and just being able to run comfortable um, and not always looking for contact. Um, when I'm running the ball. So just being, becoming more agile, stretching more, uh, doing what I can, anything really, you know, I, I, I hit him up, you know, he gave me a list of things and, you know, some of the things I just mentioned were, were on his list for me to improve on. And, and that's what I did drastically. So, yeah. Aaron Heisen, KWVA. Yeah, Cyrus, you're one of the guys on the team that plays with a lot of passion, a lot of heart with Austin stadium, not being filled with 50 plus thousand fans and that energy. How are you guys filling that void? And has, who else has stepped up to fill that energy void as a leader? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think really someone who stands out to me um, is Nick Pickett. Um, he's been very vocal this year, um, a lot more than the past years. And I think that's awesome. Um, he brings, you know, a, a type a, a lot of hype to the team. I mean, he gets us excited. And, and Coach Cristobal always mentions that we have to bring our own juice um, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't really know what it's like on game day without, without Austin and, and really with those fans, it's such an awesome experience. So I'm really curious to see how it is, but when it comes to a, you know, a juice standpoint and us being ready, um, I don't think that'll be a problem. I know it won't. Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. Cyrus, I know you grew up not too far from Palo Alto. You know that program really well. You just yeah. mentioned knowing Josh uh, a second ago. Uh, for this, does this mean these games mean a little bit more to you? And, and then just in general, now being played in a couple of these rivalry games um, with Stanford, uh, what, what have you learned from those experiences? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I grew up right over the overpass, you know, less than five miles away. Um, I grew up going to Stanford games. Um, and actually, uh, it's a little off the record, but – my high school quarterback, his dad is Dwayne Aquina. Um, so I was very close with the Aquina. I still am the Aquina family. And I believe he's still coaching DBs there. So I was, you know, in high school uh, on their practice field, uh, running routes with, with uh, his name's Kamali, the son. So I've, I've been around Stanford. You know, I've been on that campus. Um, you know, when I, it's a little more personal when I play them just because, you know, I've, I've been there my whole life. Um, and it's almost like a second home. Um, they're a great team, and I'm really excited you know, to go head to head with him. AJ Jacobson. Cyrus, when you look at the running back roster for Oregon, all you guys were featured, you know, guys of your offense in high school. Coach Master tells us, you know, he gets, he's planning on two and a half running backs ready. How, how does that room stay happy with guys so used to having the rock? Yeah, for sure. Uh, really, it's a healthy competition in the room. Uh, I feel like we really better ourselves. Um, each year, I feel like we just, we just mature more and more, especially with, with uh, us three, CJ, Travis, and I. Um, and taking the younger guys under our wing um, is something we've taken a lot of pride in. And really, I just feel like the offense as well and what we have upcoming is we'll, we'll feature a lot of the backs and we have a lot of versatility in this offense. And it, it works out well because I feel like, uh, you know, each running back kind of gives its own little flavor to the offense. And we're going to include all that. So, yeah. Matt Preem, 247 Sports. Yes, Cyrus, uh, you've played in a couple of these games, and how would you describe just the physicality of this one, you know, the last couple of games and 
uh, what, what makes this game so interesting, so tough? Uh, you're talking about Stanford or in, yeah. Okay. Really? I mean, Stanford is known, like I said, I mentioned before, you know, I've grew up around Stanford. They're always known, you know, the Toby Gearhart's guys like that. They're just a physical team, downhill team. They run a, you know, I backs pro off, you know, pro offense. And, um, it's a grinder. It's a, you know, and I feel like the Stanford versus Oregon rivalry ever since I've been young and I'm sure you guys know too, it's, it's always been, it's always been a big thing on the West coast. So it's just different. They bring a different, they pack a different punch, um, you know, and we're ready for it. Warren Williamson, Oregon Duck Football News. Cyrus, game week is here. I want to keep it simple. Just how ready are you guys to go? Coach said that you're, you're ready to hit someone else. Where are you guys mentally as you, you're two, three days away? Uh, as a team, um, I feel like we're completely ready. Um, there's just been so much uncertainty in the off season of, you know, we're on, then we're off, we're on, then we're off. But to know that we're, we're on and we're going is the best feeling ever. And I know everybody feels the same way. So we're ready to get this thing started for sure. We got time for two more. Jerry Allen, Voice of the Ducks. PD Leakio, I got to keep that moniker this year. So you come through for me. Hey, <laughs> you remember last year, the preparation and how ready you were yourself and as a team going into the first game. Is there a different feeling in that sense of readiness because you haven't had the normal amount of time to prepare? Well, I would say it is a bit of a different feeling just because like I mentioned the uncertainty, but also just because um, really the guys last year too, a lot of the guys have graduated and have moved on. Um, they played a huge role last year in leadership and getting us ready. Um, and I, I just feel like it's different, especially for me, because I've learned to take that role. And since I'm an upperclassman now, um, and really getting myself ready, but pushing other guys to get them ready. So it was a bit of a different feeling. But I mean, at the end of the day, you got to be ready. You know, when the, when the lights come on and that whistle is blowing, we got to go. So either way, we're ready. Last question goes to AJ Jacobson. Cyrus. Stanford usually has a very stout front seven on their defense. What have you seen from them on film? What are you expecting to see from them on Saturday? Yeah, for sure. I mean, they run a lot of uh, three down, four down. They mix it up. Um, you know, they're, they're number 34. Um, I forget his name, but he's a nose guard in the middle. He, he plays – he's tough. He's a tough son of a gun. So he plays really well. Um, he controls the center of that defense. Um, and also their number two linebacker is returning. Um, tall, lengthy guy. Kind of reminds me a bit of Troy Dye on the way he plays. Um, great player. Uh, so we're excited. You know, they're stout. And I mentioned earlier, um, my cousin, Josh Piccolo, will be a three-tech. So I'm excited to go against him. You know, I know how strong he is. So it's, it's going to be a battle up front. And, uh, you know, we're ready. Thanks, Cyrus. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. God bless.